I just got home from boot camp and I'm quickly going to hop in the shower before I get ready for the day. And a and I've gotten a few questions on SEMA, the exfoliating towel that I shared in a video. I think it was last month. I use this multiple times a week. I'm actually going to be using my pink one today when I take my shower. This is an exfoliating towel. So this is amazing to just exfoliate the skin. I like to do that at least once a week. I feel like my lotion, my skincare products, everything in general just sinks into my skin better. I become a lot more hydrated. It sloughs off any dead skin. I use the body wash from SEMA, but I really, really love the SEMA Japanese Exfoliating Shower Towel. It's made with all natural antibacterial silver that prevents 99.9% .9 of bacterial growth. No more clogged pores, no more damaged skin, no more chemical exfoliation. It is irritation-free, gentle, exfoliation with the bamboo charcoal fiber which is organic it also helps stimulate collagen production gently exfoliate in a circular motion will help promote production younger glowy skin and slowing down the aging process it also helps reduce fine line and sun damage so it helps remove dead skin cells promoting cell turnover resulting in new skin there's a lot of reasons to exfoliate some of the things i mentioned but it also helps even out your skin texture and reduces any breakouts. The great thing about the SEMA shower towel is it's very, very gentle. I have several of these on hand at all times. I absolutely love, love, love them. This is the best exfoliating product I have ever used. I do have a discount code for SEMA. They were so nice and offered an amazing discount. I will put it here on the screen for you and I will link it down below. I just got ready for the day. My shower was absolutely amazing and I'm 100% ready for some breakfast. I know I'm going to get some questions on my sweatshirt. It's so cute. It has dogs dressed as little ghosts. It says spooky vibes. This is actually from Timu last year. I'll see if I can find it. If I can, I'll link it for you, but I am so hungry. I definitely need to eat something. We do need to head out first thing this morning. I have a small Walmart grocery pickup. I'll explain what I grabbed on our way there. I also need to go to Goodwill. I cleaned out my closet yesterday, so I have some things to donate to my local Goodwill. But before we leave, I definitely, definitely need some breakfast. So in my meal prep that you saw on Monday, I made these copycat Dunkin' omelet bites. These are so good, absolutely delicious. Highly recommend. I think I'm actually going to have two of them. That way I can get in a good amount of protein after my workout. And then I have some of these massive jumbo blueberries. I'm telling you, these things are absolutely huge. Troy said he, those are the biggest blueberries he's ever seen. He ate some of these the other night. So I'm going to do some blueberries on the side. So here is my breakfast, my two copycat Dunkin' omelet bites, and then I did half of a cup of those jumbo blueberries. And then after breakfast, before we head out the door, I'm gonna mix up my Motivate Burn, and I have a brand new flavor of Motivate Burn to share with you, and I'm so incredibly excited about it. We're gonna test it out together. It's going to give me that little bit of a morning pick-me-up to make it through my errands. So Let's quickly put together some breakfast and then we'll mix up the new flavor of Motivate Burn. I just finished my breakfast. Chef's kiss, delicious. I'm full, I'm satisfied. Nice, clean, healthy food. Really, really good. The omelet recipe is on my website and now I'm gonna mix up my burn. So this is the brand new flavor, Rainbow Sherbet. Now, if this has that creamy ice cream, fruity flavor, I'm so excited for this. It smells really good. Just kind of fruity, but creamy, like you would expect from Sherbert. This is the regular Motivate Burn, so there, this does contain caffeine. It helps with focus, energy, and helps with fat burning. So I like to take Motivate mid-morning, mid-afternoon, whenever I feel like I need a little bit of a pick-me-up. This is also a really great pre-workout. So if you don't like the tingle that a lot of pre-workouts give you, you can use Motivate instead and not get the tingle, but get all of that focus and energy. So I'm gonna mix this up in my glass, and I'm gonna sip on this while I get ready to head out the door. Give myself again that little boost of extra energy. I also love that it helps with appetite control. I definitely notice a difference when I utilize Motivate Burn. But there's a few things about Burn that I want to share with you that I've never shared before. I talk all about the amazing benefits, the taste, the quality of Burn. But there's a few things that I think are important 
to know. Burn products are manufactured in the US and it is a woman owned small business. So that's really exciting. You know that I always like to support small business. All of Motivate's products are non GMO. They're typically more nutritious and contain higher levels of essential vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. By selecting Motivate Burn, which is a non GMO product, you can ensure that you're getting the most natural ingredients. Motivate products are also vegan friendly. Whether you're a seasoned vegan or just starting on your journey towards a plant based lifestyle, vegan products are sure to delight your taste buds while nourishing your body. So all Motivate products are also vegan friendly. They're GMP certified, which is something I didn't know much about. All of their facilities are GMP certified facilities. They adhere to the highest standards and quality and safety in the production of their product. Again, just ensuring that you're getting the highest quality, safest products. And lastly, third party testing. We know that choosing the right supplements can be a daunting task, which is why Motivate goes the extra mile to have them third party tested for the highest quality possible. So you can rest assured that all of their supplements have undergone rigorous testing, both from Motivate and from third party, someone not associated with the company, which again, all of these things just ensure that you're getting the highest quality supplements. I love Motivate. Let's mix it up and test it out together. I'm going to add one scoop to my glass of water. This is about 12 ounces of water. You can use more or less. The more you use, the lighter the flavor, the less, the heavier the flavor. And then I just mix it up with my little handheld frother. I also love that there's no artificial colors. That's something that I really, really appreciate. All right, cheers. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Okay, Motivate, this is hands down my favorite flavor of burn. It is sweet, it is fruity, and you definitely get that ice cream, you definitely get that sherbet vibe. This is really, really, really good. I will link Motivate down below with a 20% discount. Definitely, definitely get the rainbow sherbet. Just wow, it's so incredibly good. It's a little family day outside. It's really nice out. Palmer, do you wanna show your ball? Go daddy your ball. Here. Give daddy your ball. Get off my furniture. Get off my furniture. Here. Use your drop, use your drop. Give it to daddy. Oh, Lola's in the sun. <laughs> She's had a little bit of diarrhea the last couple days, so I don't know what's going on with that. So we've been keeping a close eye on her. Oh yeah, you drop, drop. All right, you ready? <gasps> Let's go. Oh, it's a tall one. Yeah, good boy. Give me. <laughs> oh, Lola, you're toasty. Say hi, everybody. I'm so pretty. I am the most beautiful. Beautiful. I've been working away in my office a little bit this morning and I'm about to head out the door, but look what just showed up. My dossier order. It has been a while since I've shared dossier on my channel. I do still order myself one or two fragrances every month, but this time I actually ordered three fragrances and a diffuser. I'm so excited. I've never tried the diffusers out. So I thought that I would share with you what fragrances I picked up. I don't have any perfume on yet, so we'll test one of them out. Dossier is an amazing, amazing brand that replicates high-end fragrances. So instead of spending hundreds of dollars on a fragrance, you can get the replicated version from Dossier for a fraction of the price. So I picked up three new fragrances. I typically go through one to two per month. I am someone that wears perfume all the time. Even put, I even put it on before I go to bed and because Dossier is so affordable, I don't have to scrimp on my fragrance. So let me show you the three that I picked up and then I'll show you the Reed diffuser. Packaging is really minimalistic but also really nice and with the holidays coming up, this makes a fantastic gift for someone who loves fragrance as much as you do. Here is what the bottles look like. One feature about Dossier I really like is that the lids are magnetic. So I can keep a Dossier fragrance in my purse and not have to worry about it spilling. So that's one thing I really appreciate. It is a glass bottle. And the first fragrance I grabbed is Fruity Peony. So this one's inspired by Giorgio Armani Privé Pivon Sulso Eau de Toilette. I probably completely butchered that. The notes in here is what grabbed my attention. So the top notes are raspberry, pink, pepper, and mandarins. So fruity, which I love. Middle notes of peony and rose. And base notes of musk, patchouli, and amber. That smells really good. 
I definitely get fruity, which I really like. I like gourmand fruity scents, but I also get that little bit of that musk and patchouli, which is really nice for fall and winter. Ooh, I really like this. This smells absolutely incredible. And then the next fragrance that I picked up is Floral Grapefruit. And this one is inspired by Chanel Chance, which is one of my favorite perfume. Whenever I wore my Chanel Chance before I used it all up, I used to get so many compliments. So I'm so excited to compare Dossier's version of Chanel Chance to the very expensive original. The top notes in this one are grapefruit, pear, and black currant. So again, those fruity notes, I really like those. Middle notes of hyacinth, jasmine, and lilac, and base notes of orris, musk, and amberwood. So again, that fruity kind of musk. <sighs> wow. That smells just like Chanel Chance. Wow, literal mind blown. This smells just like Chanel Chance. And now I can wear one of my favorite fragrances at a much more affordable price. Way to go, Dossier. This is a perfect replication. And then lastly for fragrance, I got Ambery Vanilla. This one is inspired by another one of my favorite high-end fragrances. This is YSL Black Opium. Now this one is perfect for fall and winter. So less fruity notes, more of those kind of earthy musky notes, which is great again for, which is great for this time of year. So your top notes are mandarin, pear, pink pepper, and licorice, which is such an interesting addition. Very unique for YSL Black Opium. Middle notes are jasmine, and orange blossom and base notes are cedarwood, patchouli, vanilla, and coffee. I also love the coffee note in here. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it. This is YSL Black Opium, 100%. I smell the coffee, I get the vanilla, I even get that little bit of licorice in the best way. I actually think I'm gonna wear this one today another perfect replication. And then I got a diffuser and my diffuser is floral honeysuckle. Now I actually want this for my office. I've heard amazing things about their diffusers and their fragrances are so strong and long lasting that I'm assuming the diffuser is going to do the same. Okay, this is so cute. The diffuser bottle looks like the fragrance bottle. I mean, this is so, so cute. I'm just with the little wood rods and it says, give yourself a room to breathe in. So Floral Honeysuckle is inspired by Gucci's Bloom. And I picked Gucci's Bloom specifically because I love that fragrance. And it is that little bit more fruity bright, which I like to have in my office as I'm working. It just inspires me, makes me a little bit more motivated. The top notes in this are green leaves, orange, and honeysuckle. The middle notes are jasmine, sandback, and tuberose. And your base notes are orris, sandalwood, and vanilla. Now I have the Dossier Floral Honeysuckle fragrance and I love it because I love Gucci bloom. I just knew that this was going to be the perfect room diffuser. So to use this, you're going to remove the little silver ring and then we're going to place the reeds into the bottle. This is so cute. It's very minimal, but I also like the modern look of it because it looks very similar to the fragrance bottle. 24 to 36 hours for reeds to absorb the oil and for the fragrance to fully diffuse. And then it says, pro tip to refresh fragrance, remove the reeds and place opposite ends in the liquid. So I'm actually going to just set this in my windowsill. I'll show you guys what it looks like. And I'm gonna give it some time to really soak up those oils. This is going to be a really easy way to get fragrance 24 seven in my office without burning candles or wax melts. So I'm excited to try this out. If I like this, I'll definitely order another one. So excited for these three fragrances. I'm so excited for the Reed Diffuser. I love Dossier. I've been a long time customer. I'll continue to be a customer. I will go ahead and link Dossier down below with a discount for you. I smell just like YSL Opium for a much more affordable price. And we are off. We are off to run our errands. It is an absolutely beautiful morning. It's about 55 degrees out and sunny. It's beautiful, so it is just absolute perfection. I just placed a pickup order for Starbucks. I was actually going to go to Dunkin' and get my sugar-free toasted marshmallow, but when I went to order, it says the Dunkin' in my community is temporarily closed. So I'm gonna be driving by. I'm wondering if it really is actually closed. So I went ahead and placed a Starbucks pickup order. It's been quite a few hours since I had my protein coffee this morning that you saw and my Motivate Burn. Okay, I'm about to pass Dunkin'. I'm gonna see if it's really close. I'll know because this Dunkin' is insane busy. So there would be 5,000 people in line if it was open. Yeah, nope, 
Nobody. Huh. I wonder why it's closed. That is just strange. Anyway, so Starbucks it is for a coffee. All right, coffee in hand. I got my normal four shots of espresso with four pumps of sugar-free vanilla, three quarters of an inch of sweet cream cold brew. Sweet, no, vanilla sweet cream, not sweet cream cold brew. Anyways, here. Here is what I get in my coffee. I also have a reel on Instagram showing exactly what this is. It's my favorite coffee. It's one point on WW. I count it for about 50 calories. So good. Okay. Next stop is picking up the Walmart order. So I did a very, very, very small Walmart order specifically for stuff for a video. So this coming up Sunday, spoiler alert, I am putting out a Halloween baking video. I'm making three sweet treats for Halloween. So there was a few things that I needed for the baking video that Walmart carried. So I went ahead and just did a pickup order and then I also grabbed my Applegate sausages and some balls for Palmer. So once I grab the order, I'll show you what I picked up, but it's super small and and really the main reason for it was the baking video. I'm here. I'm in spot number three. I've checked in. There's only one more person, so it should be a pretty quick. All right, so just a couple of bags. So you get a little sneak peek at the Halloween baking, but I did get some candy corn. If you know, you know, I have a hard time with candy corn. I am not opening this bag until I start the baking video. And then I also got these only because they were such a good price. I couldn't pass them up. They're these little mini LED lights. They're orange. And I have a few light strands around my house. You could use these for Halloween. You could use these for fall. And then I got some mini cucumbers because we're out and I thought these would be really good for a snack today. And then I got four packs of Palmer's little favorite balls. He he likes these the best to play outside because he can catch these in his mouth. His big balls, he likes them until he pulls the squeaker out and he can't catch them because of his little flat face. So these are perfect size for him. So I actually got him four packs of four and then I got some white candy melts and I got some food coloring. So I got purple and I got lime green to dye the candy melt. And last but not least, my favorite breakfast sausage patties, the chicken and maple. My Walmart is the only place I can find these. And I don't shop here a lot for groceries. Maybe once I move because it'll be closer to my new house, but I grabbed these while I was here because I love these so, so, so much. Last stop is Goodwill. I've got a few bags of clothes and a couple of kind of household things. I normally deliver, I normally donate my clothes to our local women's shelter, but they're not accepting donations right now, which is great. That means that they have a lot. So that makes me really happy. So I've been sharing this on my Instagram, but I thought I'd show you guys in the video, this house here in my community, they change their skeletons out every day. So today they're doing lot yard work. It's the cutest thing ever. So we've got one raking, we've got one being pulled by a skeleton dog and cat. And then this guy back here is trimming the bushes. It's so ingenious how they do this every single day. They change it out so much fun. So if you follow me on Instagram, I do try to post what they do every single day, but it's just so much fun for the holiday season. My community is really, really great about decorating for the holidays. So I just got home and I'm going to have a quick morning snack. I've got a little bit of editing to do, and then I have a coaching call here in about 30 minutes. So I'm going to have one of my Knutson cottage cheese doubles in peach. This is going to give me 12 grams, I think it is, of protein. And then I just pulled these out of the freezer, so I'm going to have to let them thaw for a minute. But these are the Alyssa's Healthy Oatmeal Bites. I love these. They have fiber, a little bit of protein, nice clean ingredients. They're basically like a little mini oatmeal cookie. I do buy these on her website. I know some stores carry them, just none in my area. So I'll link her website if you're interested. I don't have a discount or anything. I've actually tried to reach out a couple times and haven't heard anything back. So I will link Alyssa's Bites and then I'm going to have some cottage cheese. So I am going to make some lunch. I'm pretty hungry. It's about 11.15 and I'm going to make up some tuna fish. I threw a couple of cans in the fridge. I like it nice and cold. So in my tuna, I'm going to add chopped up peppers, chopped up bell peppers. These are left over from my meal prep. So I thought that I would just add them into the tuna salad along with some sweet relish and some light 
mayonnaise. Troy's making a sandwich back there with the light mayonnaise, but I am going to add that. And then I have these baked pita crackers from Sprouts. These are multi-grain crackers. You get 11 of them for 130 calories. There's even some protein, four grams and two grams of fiber. So I'm going to dip my crackers into the tuna salad. And then I have my favorite grapes in the whole world, the moon drop grapes. I love these. I'm going to have some grapes on the side. I'm going to have a quick afternoon snack. It is house cleaning day today. I made Lola's food for the week. I made cold brew last night, so I got all that set up and I'm ready for a quick snack. And I'm going to have my second protein supplement of the day, which is a Built Bar. This is the newest Built Puff. It's the Coconut Brownie Chunk. It is so good. It has these little bits of brownie chunks on top and it's a puff. So it's a little bit more like a marshmallow consistency. If you don't like the consistency, throw it in your fridge, throw it in your freezer. Even with the regular Built Bars, it totally changes the consistency. This one's been in my fridge. It makes it a little bit more firm. And it's just a really good way to get in some protein. This particular one is 100 and 160 calories with 15 grams of protein. So that's pretty good. The macros on these are excellent. The macros on the regular Built Bars are a bit better than the Puffs. The Puffs typically have a little more calories, a little less protein, and a little more carbohydrates. But but I like them both. I like all the built bars and this will be a great way to get in that punch of protein. For dinner tonight, I am making bacon corn chowder. I'm actually going to add some Italian sausage. Sorry if you hear the clanking, the dogs are eating their dinner, to the soup just for some added protein. So let me show you what you'll need. So you're going to need chicken broth, minced garlic, flour, everything seasoning. I'm using this Trader Joe's one, or this Flavor God one. I do have a discount, or I used to for Flavor God. If I still have a discount, I'll link it for you. Thyme, some whole milk, salt and pepper, bacon. You can use any bacon of your choice, turkey bacon, center cut bacon, an onion, light shredded cheese, potatoes, and then I'm adding this uh, sweet Italian sausage. I'm just gonna take it out of the casing and then fry it up just like I would regular sausage. I forgot, you're going to need some corn as well, canned or frozen. So the first thing you're going to do is pull out a Dutch oven. I'm using my caraway. I'll link it if you're interested in caraway. It's expensive, but it's worth it. I don't need any spray or anything in these pans. So you're gonna cook your bacon. Mine is already cooked. So I'm going to go ahead and add in my onion, a big scoop of minced garlic, and some thyme. You can use fresh thyme or dried. I have dried, so I'm just going to use that. And we're going to allow this to cook for about 30 seconds. We just want the garlic to become fragrant and those onions to start to soften. Then we're going to add in our cut up potatoes. I have red and yellow. I was just using what was in my refrigerator. The recipe calls for red. I don't think it really matters, but I have my diced up potatoes. And then we're sprinkling a quarter cup of flour right on top. And just give that a stir, get those potatoes coated in that flour. We're going to add in six cups of chicken broth. We're going to allow that to come to a boil. So I cooked up the turkey sausage. I'm going to go ahead and add that to the soup. The potatoes are about 80% done. The recipe says to smash up the potatoes if you want a thicker chowder, but I'm actually going to leave mine diced up. I think I just want more like a soup consistency. So again, if you want it to be a little bit thicker, you can use a potato masher, handheld mixer, whatever, to just smash up the potatoes. Once your potatoes are softened, we're adding two cups of whole milk. I'm going to add my whole bag of corn. The recipe calls for three cups. 
And then we're going to season with the everything seasoning as well as some salt and pepper. And then we're going to allow this to simmer. Just make sure those potatoes are cooked through and get everything nice and warm. I'm also going to add in my chopped up bacon. I am going to reserve a little bit to top our soup and then stir that in. Allow this to cook for about another five minutes. And then we're going to add in just under two cups of cheese. Again, reserving a little bit to top the soup with. Stir that in and it is ready to go. So here is what it looks like. Again, this is with chunks of potatoes. Again, it would be thicker if you smashed up the potatoes, but again, I was going for more of just a soup consistency. So I'm going to go ahead and plate this up and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So here is dinner, this looks so good. I was going to make some bread and just didn't get around to it today, so I'll put all the information here on the screen for you. It is the end of the night and I'm gonna have a yogurt bowl for dessert. I haven't had one in quite a while and I got a new flavor of Catalina Crunch. I actually placed, finally, a nutrition order and I ordered the Catalina Crunch Pumpkin Spice. So this is a limited edition flavor. I also found the apple cider and I haven't even tried this. So I'm going to add some of this to my yogurt bowl. It's the typical half of a cup, 110 calories, 11 grams of protein. So I am actually going to put an entire half of a cup on my yogurt and I'm gonna do the light and fit toasted marshmallow. This would be really good on pumpkin yogurt. I just don't have any more. So toasted marshmallows, one of my favorites. It's a pretty, pretty standard base, just kind of on the sweet side. And then I am going to put one tablespoon of the Trader Joe's pumpkin butter. I love that just to mix in with the Catalina Crunch and the yogurt. So we're having all of the fall vibes in our yogurt bowl. I will show you what my yogurt bowl looks like and I'll actually pop up here on the screen what my thoughts were on the pumpkin spice Catalina Crunch. You know what, let's just actually try it out together. Ooh, it smells really good. It smells very pumpkin-y. Mm, 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 mm. That is so good. Definite pumpkin, definitely pumpkin spice. More than pumpkin pie, you get all of those really good pumpkin spices. Pumpkin spice flavoring, so good. It even has nine grams of fiber, which is insane. 10 out of 10. I do have a discount code for Nutrition. I will link it for you. on today's What I Eat in a Day. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me, running a few errands, all the good food that I ate today. Don't forget tonight's dinner recipe is on my recipe website. I will have everything I shared with you in today's video linked down below for you. SEMA, Motivate, Dossier, as well as all of the other products and links. And if you enjoyed the What I Eat in a Day, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.